As we move to distance learning, you will start re receiving emails like this, or perhaps a Blackboard announcement that says, join Zoom meeting with a web address, a URL, right, like this. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to come up here to a new tab and paste in that uh, invite for a meeting. You may notice that I'm using Chrome. That's a suggested browser that uh, works really well with Zoom. So it just says launching, launching, launching. And that's because I have not yet downloaded the Zoom app. So what I'm going to do is come down here where it says download and run Zoom. And I will click to download it. Do save. And it might be in your downloads, depending on what browser you use or what operating system. For me, it's just showing up right here on my Downloads tab. So I can click to open it. I will do uh, Continue. OK. Now, right here, there's a couple of options. One says to join a meeting. The other says to sign in. So I would strongly rec recommend just in general you go to Zoom and create an account because that's going to facilitate everything for you. You could click here to join a meeting, but you need the spe specific meeting code to join the meeting. So what I recommend is to come back to your email. I'm going to take that, um, copy that same web address. And now that I've launched the Zoom app, I'm going to paste that in once again, hit return, and so now I get this um, dialog box. Do I want to open it with zoom.us? And I'm going to say yes. Depending on your browser or your operating system, this might look slightly different, but you want to open zoom.us. So you can see this is video conferencing, and so keep in mind you know, what you're wearing, obviously, because we all can see you. So I'm going to say, uh, join the meeting with video. And then I want to join with computer audio, but I can test my speaker. OK, yes, I hear the ringtone. Ringtone. So I can test my mic. So I can test my mic. All right, so I want to join the meeting with computer audio right here. So now I'm in the meeting. And if this was an actual meeting that was live, you would see your professor and you'd see some of your other classmates. Um, now, the thing is, what's really great is once you do um, download the Zoom app, the next time you get an email with a Zoom link in it, just you'll click on that link and it'll take you right to the meeting. But I really wanted to make sure that you had the fundamentals down of downloading the Zoom app. Uh, and once you do that once and it's on your computer, you're good to go. Have fun.